welcome today we are formally initiating the season making about the way the vedic mathematics is to be initiated for its teaching and learning the teaching and learning of vedic mathematics of ganita sutras is of a specific format vedic mathematical domain of ganita sutras is of an organized format the organization of vedic mathematical domain of ganita sutras is the organization as per the sequence of composition of the sutras themselves ganita sutras are 16 in number and in addition there are 13 ganita upasutras this text of 16 sutras and 13 upasutras makes a range of 519 letters ganita sutras and ganita upasutras make independent parallel compositions vedic mathematical domain of ganita sutras makes an independent domain vedic ganita upasutras mathematical domain as well is an independent mathematical domain however the special feature of this pair of mathematical domains is that these get synthesized along an integrated format and it is this integrated format of mathematical domains of ganita sutras and ganita upasutras which in itself is a distinguishing feature of this mathematical domain however the mathematical domain of ganita sutras as of an independent format of ganita sutras text of sutras 1 to 16 on the one hand as well as the synthetic mathematical domain of ganita sutras and ganita upasutras of their integrated format as well as far as the initiation is concerned it is to be in terms of the first letter of the text of ganita sutra 1 therefore today we are focusing our attention as to the initiation of teaching and learning of vedic mathematics being in terms of first letter itself the first letter is a the sixth vowel therefore the teaching and learning of vedic mathematics vedic mathematical processes vedic mathematic systems vedic systems vedic sciences vedic technologies get focused get centered around the first letter the first letter is the sixth vowel it being the sixth vowel it takes us to six space it is real six space which is the source reservoir of values of vedic mathematical domain the initiation of learning and teaching of vedic mathematical domain in terms of its first letter the sixth vowel vowel the value 6 is of six space domain six space domain is presided by lord vishnu 
the specific feature of this organization this format this phenomenon of our existence this special feature of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe as such of the solar universe itself as well as of the existence phenomenon within human frame this feature is mahakal lord vishnu as mahakal is the full expression of the mathematical format of vedic order for the existence phenomenon in its entirety the entire vedic mathematical domain the whole range of vedic mathematics values the whole order of the existence of phenomena as such becomes the phenomenon of mahakal of lord vishnu lord vishnu as mahakal is full expression of the lively values of our solar universe including the mahakal including the death as well as a living phenomenon death has its personification death has its form death has its format and it is this format which is of the ultimate values the ultimate comprehension the ultimate reach of the vedic systems the vedic order and it is this order which is being chased by the mathematical domain of ganita sutras ganita sutras begin with its first letter a the sixth vowel the value 6 the last letter of the text of ganita sutra and sutras together as well as of the ganita sutras as an independent domain and of ganita sutras as an independent domain is visarjaniya of tc value 13 beginning with the value 6 and reaching up to value 13 is the complete comprehension format of ganita sutras the value 6 as 6 space as hypercube 6 the representative or regular body of 6 space in creator's space is of 13 versions as such the mathematical domain being initiated in terms of its first letter the sixth vowel is of an expression reach of 13 geometries range of six space six space is of 13 geometries range the 13 versions of hypercube 6 are the representative regular bodies of 13 geometries of six space as such the sadhakas fulfilled with intensity efforts to learn and imbibe the values of mathematical domain of ganita sutras shall aspire for and be blissful as the end reach of such learning and imbibing is going to be of full expression of 13 geometries range of six space accepting 13 versions of hypercube 6 as their respective sequential representative regular bodies therefore today when we are deliberating when we are determining 
when when we are ascertaining when we are entering the formal learning and teaching of vedic mathematics in terms of its first letter a the sixth vowel of value 6 of six space format of hypercube 6 the representative regular body of six space in four space of 13 versions then we shall sit comfortably and permit a transcending mind to be blissfully unfolding order which is to be parallel to the full expression of 13 geometries range of six space and 13 versions of hypercube 6 the representative regular body of six space in four space the creators of space this deliberation is being proposed to have a comprehension a full determination a firm conclusion as the initiation is going to be a proper foundation then for it we be to these 10 distinctive features number 1 the first letter number 2 the domain split of six space as the domain three transcendence of origin of transcendental domain namely of six space hypercube six surya ank first perfect number second perfect number formulation ekadikena five folds organization and inner folds of tc values format of the first letter as well as of the entire range of letters of the text of ganita sutra the nut sutras or the 10 phases through which we shall be through we shall face these 10 distinctive phases to be confident to be blissful that our initiation of learning and teaching in terms of first letter is going to be blissful and reach of the order of six space itself therefore the first letter is the sixth vowel and this first letter eka adhikain purve the ganita sutra 1 its initial initiation beginning with the first letter a as sixth vowel sequentially takes us to the a as the vowel number 2 as tc value 6 parallel to it there being a six space and six space takes us to hypercube 6 once we are being with this initiation having these features then we shall be of specific attention as that domain split spectra of six space domain is going to be of value 16 which is parallel to the range of 16 sutras and also value 16 is parallel to the dimensional frame of creators of space of quadruple spatial dimensions therefore this feature of domain split spectra of 16 streams of six space domain deserves to be comprehended and imbibed fully we know that six space is having a split as a pair of creative dimensions and the flow of spatial dimension of dimension it is this feature of six space domain splitting into a pair of creative dimensions 
and a spatial dimension of dimension leading to the value 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 16 is the feature which will give us confidence as that our initiation of learning and teaching of Vedic mathematics as a mainstream discipline beginning with its first letter or the sixth vowel is going to be of our wishful reach. Our wishful reach is that we should be blissfully parallel to the entire format of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe. Now, this is a reach of 16 sutras range. Therefore, value 16 is the value which is to be available due for such learning and teaching and it is this availability in the form of domain split spectra is the most blissful feature of this chase. Now one may further have a pause here and take note that this split spectra as 6, 4 and 2 as we had noticed previously that the formulation Vyas is of total value 642 for its all six inner folds of its TCV range 40 which is the value of four fold 2, 3, 4, 5 manifestation of the creator's space. Therefore, it is this creative sphere, it is this diameter as of the creative order, which is of value 6, 4 and 2. And it is this spectra, which is of parallel features and values. Further, it will be blissful to take note that value 16 when we write as 1 and 6 it provides us a wonderful clue as that beginning with 6 as the first letter of the sutra ekadhikena and it is to have an end reach at value 1 which is the value of which is the tc value of the last letter of the first formulation, Ekadhikane, it is also the value of the last letter of the complete text of Ganita Sutra 1. It is this organization in depth catch which will further provide extra confidence as that each and every feature here is precisely a Vedic mathematical settled feature. The value 6, the value of the first letter, the TC value of the first letter, A, the sixth vowel, 6, accepts an organization as 0, 1, 2, and 3 parallel to fourfold manifestation layer of hypercube 2. Hypercube 2 is square is a representative regular body of two space in four space. Hypercube 2 is a fourfold manifestation layer. It is of quadruple values 0, 1, 2 and 3. The summation value of these quadruple values 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. It is this blissful feature which will further add confidence to this sadhaka, confidence of the sadhakas as that the way they are, they are initiating themselves for learning and teaching of Vedic mathematics is of firm foundation 
of the foundation of the value of manifestation layer of two space which as a spatial order is taking us the reach of the domain split spectra it is this interconnected feature it is this integrated organization spectra which deserves to be appreciated at the out cell as it is this appreciation it is this comprehension it is this insight it is this enlightenment which is going to be of great help during this teaching and learning phases from here let us go a step ahead and see that six space is playing the role of an origin of a transcendental domain this self referral origin six space as origin transcends from the transcendental domain the five space domain and the transcendence spectra comes to be 5 6 and 5 parallel to the split of five space domain into a pair of five space domains and is the result six space origin transcending out of it it is this transcendence of six space as an origin from five space as a domain which gives us five plus six plus five is equal to sixteen therefore it is this feature at which we will have a further confidence about the foundation of this mathematical domain the foundation of this mathematical domain is that six space is playing the role of an origin of a five space and six space itself being of a creative dimensional order with a transcendental origin as such the split further for five space origin transcending out of the creative domain will lead us to value 4 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 13 one will be blissfully face to face with this transcendence phenomenon which in pair of phases is leading us to values 16 and 13 parallel to the manifestation formats of the mathematical domain of ganita sutras as 16 sutras and mathematical domain of ganita up sutras as 13 up sutras therefore this phenomenon of transcendence as of a pair of phases and the consequential parallel manifestation of the sutras and up sutras together as of value 29 parallel to the tc value of brahma the overlord of the creator's space will fulfill us with the mathematical format of the text of ganita sutras and up sutras as such sadhakas fulfilled with intensity efforts to be parallel with the vedic order vedic mathematics vedic sciences and vedic technologies shall be face to face with the organization format features of the text of ganita sutras and up sutras and its unfolding is to be of a sequential order as is the sequential organization of the text beginning with the first letter six this range of six space as such is a range of six steps we are beginning we are initiating with the sixth step so first five steps are presumably available it is this availability of five steps 
prior to the step of value six is taking us to is providing us a sthapatya mirroring rod format a synthetic setup of hypercubes one to six it is this availability of mirroring rod format which will ultimately help us appreciate how the six space as a domain like the domain of our sun the six space domain will permit its exhaustive coverage complete swapping in terms of synthetic setup of hypercubes 1 to 6 the representative regular bodies of 1 space to 6 space this takes us to the format of 6 space content manifesting as 6 space domain and developed within a transcendental boundary of 12 components it is this format feature range of 13 versions of hypercube 6 as representative regular bodies of the 13 geometries range of 6 space which are going to be the ultimate chase steps for the exploitation of the solar universe parallel to the pure values the pure values and applied values are running parallel to each other it is this manifestation phenomenon and it is this format which will help us appreciate the manifestation of death as a living phenomenon as a mahakal the incarnation expression of lord vishnu it is this range which is going to be the ultimate format of chase of the existence phenomenon by us the human beings as a living phenomenon within human frame as of a purusha format the purusha format chase of mahakal phenomenon of our solar universe is the ultimate limit of the chase and it is this ultimate limit of the chase which is manifesting as the mathematical domain of ganita sutras as such the sadkas fulfilled with the intensity of arch shall initiate learning and teaching of vedic mathematics in terms of <coughs> value 6 one may have a pause here and take note that this value 6 is a surya ank it is the number of the sun domain it is <coughs> value 6 the formulation surya is leading us to the transcendence value as 3 multiplied by minus 1 Plus three multiplied three is equal to six. Six, as a Surya ank, is the value of transcendence through the pair of vowels, elongated third vowel and the first vowel. It is this transcendence through this formulation, as of value six. will put a complete stamp upon the perfection of the organization format of ganita sutras and its complete unfolding insurance in terms of its very first letter it is this feature which will further take us to 
the organization of six as the first perfect number. The divisors of six are one, two, three, and six. The proper divisors are one, two, and three. The summation and product of this range of triple proper divisors of six take us to value six. Therefore, six as the first perfect number becomes a unique perfect number as much as that here in case of this perfect number, the summation as well as the multiplication values are equal to the value of the number itself. Six is the first perfect number and six is the unique perfect number. Six is the value of a Surya. It is a Surya Ankh. This Surya Ankh with this unique feature of summation and a multiplication value of the proper divisor being six will further add to the feature as that the product of all the quadruple divisors including six is six square. It is the ultimate stem as that the chase in terms of Gnita Sutra 1 one more than before is not only remaining as a linear progression along a line, one plus one is equal to two, is not simply a value for a pair of linear units addition. So if we are on a surface, if we are on spatial units, so the this progression chase will be equally available for the surface spatial dimensional orders and step ahead for the solid dimensional order as well. The value 36 is the most beautiful organization reach as 36 is parallel to TC value of formulation Paranama, the synonym of O and the enlightenment of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is that Paranama pervades throughout the Vedas. Therefore, the first perfect number as the initiation point is ultimately to become the end fruit reach phase as well. Therefore, the initiation and the end reach, beginning and the end, being at the same mint, is the feature which further ensures, in fact, it finally ensures that our initiation of learning and teaching of mathematical domain of Ganita Sutras in terms of its first letter A, the sixth vowel of value six is going to be of the order of Vedas. It is this blissful feature which will further help us have a complete blissful mental state as that Ganita Sutra 1 with working rule one more than before. So beginning with six at next step reach will be at the next perfect number 28. The first perfect number six with three proper divisor one, two, three of summation value six and the second perfect number with five proper divisors, one, two, four, seven, and eight of value 28, or of additional feature as that when all the divisors of both the perfect numbers are taken into consideration, then the product of the all the divisors of six take us to six square, while all the divisors of 28 will take to cubic value 28, 3, a step ahead 
the third perfect number 496 will take us to 496 raised to power 5 step ahead up till the fourth perfect number 8128 reach will be 8128 raised to power 7 so 2 3 5 and 7 are the quadruple primes of the nine numerals range of a 10 place value system of the format of the transcendental domain of creative boundary of 10 components with each creative component being of nine versions. This range of features will be blissfully ensuring us that our initiation of learning and teaching of Vedic mathematics in terms of the first letter of Kanita Sutra, Sutra this value 6, is going to provide us a perfect reach for the Vedic order, which will be of coverage, coverage range from Surya to Brahm to the eternity. As we know, Brahm is of TC value 28 and Surya Anke 6. All these features, when are being faced together, when are being visited together, when are being imbibed together, this all will fill us with overconfidence that our initiation and learning of Vedic mathematical domain in terms of the first letter of the text is going to be of the ensured blissful perfection of knowledge. It is this perfection of a knowledge which in fact is going to be of a chase steps from first letter to the ninth letter of the first formulation and so on. And this chase is going to be in terms of the TCV values and this range of TC values will give us such like parabolic representations and the unfolding process will continue. Here we can have a pause and proceed further as that as Gita Sutra 1 is having 16 letters text. So Gita Sutra 8, Gita Sutra 9, Gita Sutra 15, and Gnita Sutra 16 as well are texts of 16 letters each and the sequential reach of the organization as of range of step 1 to 16 when is unfolded sequentially then for Sutra 1 is Sutra 8 will provide value 1, third sutra 9 will provide value 5, sutra 4, 15 will provide value 7 and sutra 6 will provide value which becomes 22 and this value 22 is the value of hypercube 6, the representative or regular body of 6 space in 4 space. It is this feature of 5 folds unfolding process inherently inbuilt in the text of Ganita Sutra's organization is the feature which will enrich us manifold and finally it is going to be a matter of bliss that we shall follow the inner folds of the TCV values of the entire range of letters for formulation ekadikain and in fact for the whole range of the 16 sutras and 13 of sutras and from this table it will be evident as to how blissfully the values spectra is going to be parallel to the spectra of a Jyoti flow from orb of the sun transcending through the space and going to be of 
as organization as is going to be the organization of mathematical domain of Vinita Sutras and Upsutras. Let us initiate ourselves properly. Let us initiate learning and teaching of Vedic mathematical domain beginning with the first letter. Let us visit and revisit first letter for its reservoir of six space domain of hypercube six format and let us further permit the transcending mind to glimpse and imbibe the way the Jyoti is flowing through orb of the sun a, of a Surya Ankh of value six of six space format of hypercube six format within the creators of space. Thank you very much.